Hello, I'm Tom Tathy with TPGS, yes, and today we're going to be installing VBulletin on our server. Now, the server that you see in front of me is different from the server I've used in other videos. Normally, I would use WAMP server to save time. However, people have been emailing me saying that uh, they couldn't figure out how to treat my SQL databases and things like that using the server that we provide. So, I'm going to go and take my time and take time out of my schedule, <laughs> my busy, busy life, and upload all the files to the server and basically show you how to do it, how you would do it if you was following my videos. Now, while I will be installing VBulletin as I was going to do anyway, I will, the same process will apply when uploading PHP, BB or SMF. Um, it's just you'll be uploading a different file and your forum will look differently to the end product of mine. Now, mine is a paid software and just to save time, I have actually downloaded it. But um, I do actually have a license to download this. If you don't and you receive it for free, um, the site you received it from is probably a nulled or illegal software, um, at which point you should report that site via email in complete confidentiality to piracy at vbulletin.com or you can log on to vbulletin.com and fill out a piracy report form there again in complete confidentiality. Having said that, if your, if your site is found to be running the legal version of Ableton, it will be instantly shut down and uh, you won't be notified. So, with that said, let's get started. And the first thing we've done, I've done is I've downloaded Ableton here. So, you can download that from members.vbulletin.com or again, if you're using another piece of software, you'll have the zip file. Most, most come in zip files. SMF and PHP, BB come in zip files. So, we're going to extract it. Yes, we'll replace that. Uh, if you're a complete novice, I would watch some of the other videos, especially the one relating to the forum that you want to install from this point, because uh, this process is the same as the other processes uh, via extracted. The only difference that you'll want is if you want to stick to the end where we start adding to our MySQL database, you can do because that is a, this. This is sort of the same process that you'll be following, except you'll be using either SMF or PHP BB forums. I'm thinking of doing that. Maybe I'll do it on a website. Uh, I'm going to upload the website soon. In fact, I'm going to show you that website. It's going to be tpgs.comuv.com. That's tpgs.comuv.com. Or, um, no, in fact, it won't be. It'll be tpgs.co.nr. That's tpgs.co.nr will be our um, website. So our extraction with it, uh, window is finished. We're initially extracted files. Now then, um, by this point, you'll probably want to download Farzilla or Smart FTP or another one of them programs for FTP and um, the reason why <coughs> excuse me, we're going to do that is because we're going to upload these files now. So go to your C panel and go to view FTP details. Now this will probably show my password so I'm going to pause the video and uh, enter my FTP details in and then I'll show you what we need to do. But for you guys, you need to go to view FTP details. You need to click that, and it will show you your FTP details. And I'll show you what to do with that in just a moment. But I'm just going to pause it, take out my FTP details, take out my password, and then unpause it and show you what you need to do. Okay, so I've uh, taken my FTP details off the screen, and I'm basically going to go through uh, each line. The first line that you see is your host. Now your host is really easy to remember, it's actually just your domain name. So in this case it's tpgs.comuv.com. Your username is the username that you're given. It'll usually be given with letter A and then have numbers following it. And then your password is the password that you use to sign up with. So I'm just going to connect bypassing proxy details. And you'll see here we have FTP quota, do not upload here, and public HTML. Double click the public HTML folder. And you'll have here the default.php. You can actually just remove that. Okay, now in our vbulletin window, we're going to go to upload. And we're going to go to includes. And you'll see a file called config.php. It's actually a new file, so you need, to you need to go to it, you need to press F2 on your keyboard to rename it. And 
for some reason it still says config.php.new is actually just config.php so you need to rename that to config.php for some reason it still thinks it's a new file um, I don't know why it just does it should be able to be saved though so open up your config.php file it'll probably be called config.php for you but for some reason my computer is reading it and uh, you'll see this file Looking at my uh, license number wasn't in there then. Um, scroll down, you'll see database type, database name, things like that. The way we figure that out, well, we have to create it. So we need to open up our uh, member area, and we need to scroll down to MySQL. Let's click it. I'm running out of time. Uh, you need to type in your uh, database name, your database username, the password, and then create the database. Now leave this open because we're going to need that. My SQL host needs to copy and paste that into your config.php and that goes where it says localhost, you need to delete localhost and paste that in. My SQL database is the database name, so where it says forum, you need to remove that. The table prefix, you want to put vb underscore or php, you want to put you can actually just leave that blank if you're only installing one uh, if you're only installing one version of it, you can just leave that blank, so I'm just going to leave that blank because I'm only going to be installing one version. Uh, your database technically email address. You want to change that to your email address. It's actually it doesn't matter. Uh, the password, username and password. Then you want to save it and close it. Okay, now you don't want to upload these files. The whole upload file, which they're going to rename to. Oh, actually, we're just going to go into that. We're going to select it all using the Control A. And we're just going to click and drag into public HTML. It's going to take a while to upload, and while it's uploading, I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's finished. Okay, so it took a little while, but we eventually got there in the end, and they transferred the files to the server. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our website. So in this case, it is just going to be that. And as you can see there, we need to, it says includes that config php doesn't exist. What we need to do is we need to connect back to our server. So we need to connect to our server. Double click public HTML. Go to includes. Then find config.php.new. Hit F2. You will now be to rename that to config.php, and then refresh the page. Now you see we have a database error because what we need to do is, unlike other forums, we actually have to tell the bulletin where to go. So on your forum, let's move this up, on your website, go to forward slash install, forward slash install dot php. Now you can tell you'll be running a true version of the bulletin because it's not actually for your customer number. So if it doesn't ask you for your customer number, report the site that you got it from. Okay, so I've just entered my customer number. Uh, <clears throat> and we're just going to go through the next step and we're going to keep pressing next step. So you just have to keep clicking, keep clicking until you come up to a the screen similar to mine. Once you see this screen, just keep clicking next. I've skipped a couple of steps because I'm running out of time. Once you see this screen, <coughs> enter the information. Uh, we're going to leave that as it is because I'm running out of time. And then again, just keep pressing next. Create your admin account. Proceed. Next step. Now we need to delete the install.php folder. So go to your uh, filezilla again. Go to install. 
and then delete install.php. Okay, and then once you've done this, you can select this little int here. That's going to take you to your uh, admin cp farm with a lot in. Okay, I've done over 10 minute mark, but. So it'll be about a couple of seconds. There's your brand new V button admin CP panel just to check everything works. Here's your brand new forum. Thanks for watching. Visit the site at tbgs.co.nr.